So now um, this, this guitar is, is at a phase that a number of other things have been done that I'll go over. Obviously it's all been fretted at this point. Um, and I've put an oil finish on the guitar. And I put the oil finish, which is multiple, multiple coats of oil, and then rubbing out with finer and finer progressive sandpaper and steel wool to where it's a, a super um, smooth surface. Only then, and then I put a coat of wax on it. At that point, I can put the tuners on. Um, I can put the mount the bridge. Uh, here I have um, routed out the uh, pickup pickups for, um, for 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 them to be able to inset. Here's here's what that looks like. Here are the pickup covers, and they're just gonna. They're adjustable. They'll be adjustable with screws and foam behind them to go up and down to whatever height they need to be at. But basically that's how they look. But you can see that's why I get so nervous at that stage when I'm ready to hollow out for the pickups. Uh, you've got so much work on the guitar at that point. And there it is. You can't mess it up. It's right there in the front of the guitar. I'll show you the back. The back, the um, electronic cavity has copper, copper foil. It's, it is copper, but it comes with a, an adhesive back. And you cover the entire cavity, which helps to deaden the um, noise uh, frequencies from electrical signals that you don't want. I've put in all my electronics from my cardboard, fit right in, and I've um, tightened the nut on the front, and uh, they're ready for the knobs knobs to go on at this point. So it's getting pretty close. I've, I've drilled interior holes inside the guitar so that I can route wiring from the electronic cavity uh, out up to the pickups. And there's also a wire that comes up and touches the bridge that grounds the bridge. So everything as much as I can has been um, insulated from, from outer noise interference and it should be a very quiet guitar. Um, also, on these pickups, these are called fat stacks. This is what I commonly use. And, and a fat stack pickup, you can see it's stacks. There's two coils on top of each other. Lots of humbucking pickups have a coil here and a, a coil side by side. These are one on top of another. But they're hum canceling. And I also have switching that allows you to turn off one of the coils and just use a single coil. So you get an entirely different sound with the single coil as you would with uh, using both coils. And there's advantages to having dual coil. It, it is more hum canceling, but if you're not in a super noisy environment, that single coil, like especially for slapping and popping, for a gritty, uh, clear, clean sound, uh, there's nothing finer than a good single coil sound. So that's, we're at this stage, and next I'm gonna finally uh, take you and show you a finished guitar play it a little bit and discuss uh, when I put on the strings and do the setup. <laughs>